Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be tackling more of our AR-15 in our AR-15 build series. Now, if you've been following this for a few weeks, you'll know that we started with our upper receiver, but because I live in the middle of nowhere, I needed some parts and they took forever to get to me. So we switched to the lower receiver, did a little bit of that, and lo and behold, my upper receiver parts finally came in. So now we're gonna jump right back into the upper receiver. So as the title suggests, we're gonna be working on our forward assist today. This one's pretty simple, but we're still gonna need some tools. But before we get into this whole entire video, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, that way anytime a video uploads, you'll be notified of it. Um, I'm enjoying doing this stuff. I I've been getting some pretty decent feedback on helping you guys out, so that makes me really, really happy. Now your forward assist is important because if for whatever reason your bolt doesn't seat all the way forward and lock into place, that's what the forward assist is for. You give it a little, a little nudge and it's supposed to sit in place. So first and foremost, of course, we're gonna need our upper receiver. This is my guy right here. This thing, I am so excited. I mean, I wanted to spray paint this, but the more I put this gun together, all black just looks nasty, I love it. Now I know we wanna spray paint guns or paint guns to break up the image of a gun from a distance, but this is just too beautiful, I don't know. So I'm kind of torn if you think I should spray paint it or paint it or do something with this other than leaving it black, let me know in the comments down below, or if I should leave this black also, let me know in the comments down below. But this is what you're gonna need, your upper receiver. Of course, you're gonna need your forward assist, Aero Precision for the win, I love these guys. They're quality to cost ratio is, I mean, it's just like H-E-B, you know? I mean, everything's cheap, but everything is just way better than anything else. So I don't understand how they do it so cheap, but it works, it's great quality. I love air precision. And for this specific build, we're actually gonna need a punch set. This comes with a roll pin, so you're gonna need a roll pin starter as well as a nice little mallet and a little a little punch to get that guy going in there. So that's what we're gonna need. Without any further ado, let's just get right into the build. Okay, and just like this, here's my beautiful upper receiver, and here is my forward assist along with the parts that I'm using, just like that. Okay, so just like that, this is everything that you're going to need for today's build. We have our upper receiver, we have our forward assist with parts, so your forward assist kit, if you will, and your punch set, whatever you wanna use, no big deal. One extra thing that we are gonna need is your roll pin starter, because we have a roll pin that goes in there, which with the magic of editing, it's right here. Okay, cool. So very first thing we're gonna do is open up your beautiful kit here. We're gonna understand how this gets put together. So this is what happens right here. You have your forward assist itself. You can see that there's a little claw that kind of angles inward. That's actually gonna be facing your bolt. So it'll go in the orientation of my, my upper receiver. Mine will go just like that. Does everybody see that? Does that make sense? Is that, is that we all understand? The claw curves inward into your bolt carrier group. So again, here it is, the claw. We'll go in just like this. Just like that. Now, if you go ahead and do what I just did, go ahead and put your forward assist in there and get an aerial view from the top of your upper receiver. Make sure the claw is facing inward. Whenever you slide this in, you'll see that there's a part that actually fills up half of the hole. And then as you continue to push in, the hole opens up. That is where you're gonna put your roll pin in when it's compressed all the way. Now remember, we do need to put this spring on, but we're not doing that yet. I'm just showing you guys what you're looking for. So with your imaginary spring on, with the claw facing inward, you're gonna go ahead and slide this guy in and you'll see that as you push in far enough, your hole will completely open up and then that is where you place your roll pin. So the easiest way to do this is you're gonna go ahead and get your spring, and your spring can go on either way, it doesn't really matter, a spring is a spring. Well, in this case, a spring is a spring. Claw facing inward, and you'll see that as you push this in, you will have some spring tension, obviously. So you wanna make sure that your roll pin is started and ready to go. So that's all we're gonna do. 
So get your roll pin starter and your roll pin just like this. This is what we're looking at. Woo wee. Everybody see that? So I'm just taking my nice little rubber, soft plasticky feeling guy here. And all I'm going to do is start the roll pin. Now again, you don't want to go too far. You just want to start it. You don't, you don't want to, you don't want to go all the way through. So see how I did that there? So with this forward assist, I can still press this in all the way. See that? Without the pin actually being in all the way. It's just kind of being held in place for me. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is get your fat boy ready. Get your starter punch and you're going to start this punch all the way until you can't start it anymore. Obviously, it's going to stop once it completely hits flush with your upper receiver. In that case, it should be long enough to actually hold the forward assist in place, but this way you can actually free up a hand if you absolutely need to. So there's that punch right there. And then we just, so now I can't go any lower because my, my starter punch has hit my upper receiver. So this is where I take this guy out. Apparently there's rust already inside of my beautiful starter punch. And as you can see, my forward assist is actually in place. So now all I need to do is hold this guy in place just like this. Okay, cool. Once you're completely done, one thing you can do to check your work is if you can see your claw penetrate through your upper receiver inward, you've done it correctly. Just like that. And just like that, you've installed your forward assist. Not too bad, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, I appreciate all the feedback and all the comments. Let me know in the comments down below how you're going along and what you're building and what parts you're putting in your weapon. I'd love to see it. I'll see you guys in the next one.